Hello everybody, this is Cheeseburger Jesus, and welcome back to Hello Charlotte, episode 3, Childhood's End, because they've released a new game! Uh, it's another add-on, it's an actually released as an add-on for this one, but, eh. <laughs> Don't know what I was doing, so. Talk? Not yet. I mean, I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing elsewise. Uh, otherwise, so. Small note with a Wi Fi password rests on the table. Stuff the wardrobe with all kinds of clothes. Snuck with all this unnoticed. A consider of the hotel staff. There's only my coat inside. Talk to Henry. Wow, this bed is so comfy. <laughs> hey, don't jump on it too much. I know, I know. So, where will we go from here? Oh, I took care of that. Just a moment. I bring out a pack of pills and hand it to Henry. Here. There's enough for two. What is... You... Henry throws the pack into my face. You idiot! She's in front of me in a second, hitting me relentlessly with her small fists, making me take a step back with every hit. Wait, what? Miss Warhol? She doesn't back down, letting punch after another punch. We tumble down to the floor. Ow, ow, ow. Is this what you meant by running away? Really? God, you're just like everyone else, leaving me. What are you talking about? Aren't you the one who... The one who what? It's not like we'll cease all contact after I move. God, I really do hate you. Her tears fall down freely, staining my sweater. All you ever do lately is talk about gods and trials and afterlife and all that bullshit. All you ever talk about is him. What happened to living with t for your mother? Were you lying that time? Anry, I... Shut up and listen, Eiler. I accept you for who you are, all of you. Your mother may be broken beyond repair, but she loves you too. We both need you. Yet you're throwing your life away like this? What do you know? I didn't plan to live longer than mother will to begin with, I don't say. All mother cares about is Scarlet. It's her who should have been born instead of me. Henry slaps my face. Don't say things like that. Not when I, when you. You haven't even finished your story. I look forward to it every week, you know? Ah, the puzzle pieces start to fall into place. Henry coloring her hair to match mine. The constant messaging. The fake relationship. Henry's a liar. She's here. She cares. It's getting harder to breathe. Henry's crying. My eyes are dry. Listen. Listen, repeat after me. It's not my fault. Why would I lie to myself? Just do it! It's not my fault. Satisfied? It's not my fault. 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 Henry kisses me. Oh. I feel like vomiting. It's not my fault. It's not my fault. It's not my fault. We keep repeating it like a mantra over and over. Surprisingly, I feel myself calm down a little. Then a thought occurs to me. Maybe this how is how Henry calms herself down all the time. It's just that she would never tell anyone. We lie on the floor for a long time. I briefly wonder if it's properly vacuumed. That's what you should be worrying about, yes. I want to talk to him again. I know. We never finished either Almanac, you know? The main character was reborn multiple times trying to save the White Queen. But something always went wrong. So we had to let her go. Will I ever be able to let go? I don't know. Decide that for yourself. Ah, alright, I'm dumping you. Oh? If you want to die this much, go on and do it. Henry doesn't care. Just make sure I never learn about it. You're contradicting yourself, Miss Warhol. Jeez, when I'm dating someone for real, I want it to be a cute girl. Like Charlotte? Ah, shut it. But she's the cutest. Yeah, yeah. When I meet her, I'm calling her out on being as delusional as you are. Henry's such a bully. I hug her tightly. Might as well be the last we hug we share. Thank you. I mean it. I'm sorry I couldn't accept your feelings. 
we packed our things and returned home the next morning. The next month, Henry's family moved to another town, like they initially planned. A year and a half after, we stopped talking to each other. All ended well. There was nothing to be sad about. Once upon a time, in a far, far away land, lived the Skin Princess. Every day she changed her skin to appear in the best light to every single person she met. Every night she ripped her skin off, crying from the unbearable pain it caused her, whispering, it's not my fault, it's not my fault, it's not my fault, over and over. Little did she know that all the people in her kingdom were blind to begin with. Mom, I'm gonna actually write that down. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to my notes on my phone. I actually really enjoyed that. Time stamp. Six men. There we go. Mother. It's morning already. Mother. Are you... No way, not you too. It'd be easier if Mom was a workaholic who was never home. It'd be easier if we hated each other. It'd be easier if I didn't remember the days when she was still full of energy. Who would want to admit their parent giving up on life and slowly rotting in the bedroom? Who would admit to thinking of their only parent as a parasitic existence? After that day, nothing was the same anymore. Charles Eiler can you solve this problem, Mr. Eiler? Ugh. I rushed out of the classroom, straight to the bathroom stall. The voices of my classmates follow me. Huh. Huh. I vomited into the toilet, the morning's breakfast spilling down the drain. Gross. That moment I realized I could never touch a human being ever again. Only her face remained unchanged. White, clean, sterile. Free of contagious parasites. Vincent, I want to become clean too. I want to ascend to become white like you. What in the world should I do to wash this filth off? Ah. You knew it al all along, didn't you? It was this simple. Whoa, what? Okay. What am I doing? I'm not I'm not controlling this. It's a cutscene. Would an entire ocean really be enough to wash all the ink off me, I wonder. In the end, I couldn't replace Scarlet. I couldn't help the bullied one. I couldn't choose Anri. Couldn't bring Mother back. In the end, I achieved nothing and didn't amount to anything. I failed the trial. If there is afterlife, I don't want to be the protagonist. Someone like Charlotte would be more fitting for the spotlight. In the end, my story wasn't about overcoming hardships. It was a story of giving up. I hear Scarlet Eiler growl behind my back. You're giving up on your life. Seriously? Stop being childish and return home. I cover my ears. Stop pitying yourself. You're not trying hard enough. Shut up, you monster. You're not even my sister. All you are is but an ugly reflection of my own self. A cancerous tumor on my mind. Hey, listen to me. Turn back this very moment. Your voice is so loud, so loud. But the deeper I sink, the quieter it gets. So I sank, and choked, and gasped for air, and felt my lungs explode. There was nothing to be sad about. All ended well, did end it? Whoa, hold on. Completed all scenes in the true realm. Would you like to save your progress? Um... I don't feel comfortable with that being asked. Eiler! Scarlet Eiler! Wake up, sleepyhead! Charles? It's... that's me! Were you surprised? I... where have you been? I looked everywhere for you, all this time, and... You look younger. Why? Wait, wait, wait. One question at a time. First of all, I've always been here. It's the universe of my mind, after all. 
Second, I can change shape and form how far I want in this place. You, what? Don't you remember? We drowned and died. Then boom, a universe was born. A universe, I'm afraid I... Come on, honor student. This concept isn't that hard to grasp. Look. The evidence of it is that you're no longer a tulpa. Hold on. Music. You're your own person now, aren't you? Well, yes, you're right. It definitely is strange. Since when did he become so confident in himself? Just ha how much time has passed since we got separated? It appears there's a lot that I don't know yet. Yes, you've been in the dark this whole time, haven't you? Don't worry, I'll tell you everything. All the secrets, all the hidden facts, the very truth of this world. You might want to keep a journal for that, you know? But why now? Where were you hiding all this time? Why, I wasn't hiding. It's just that I was afraid of approaching you. I'm sorry. Uh, that's right, I did terrible things to him. I was so scared of you all this time. But I'm over it now. <laughs> Besides, you're not that Scarlet Isler anymore, are you? Right. I've wanted to properly apologize to you ever since I woke up in this world. It's okay, it's okay. No need to bow your head. I was the one who was acting stupid and selfish all this time, you know? When we became separated, I understood that you were always right. To tell the truth, I'm at a complete loss. So I came to ask for your help. What happened? You see, the current reality is that this world is on the verge of collapse. What? Why? I suppose you're acquainted with Charlotte Wiltshire? I am. What about her? She's the one who's corrupting this world. Everyone's unhappy because of her. She's the one in charge of the public executions occurring on a daily basis. She's the reason why so many students die and get sick with a contagious disease known as white flu. She's dangerous, psychotic, childish, killing just for the fun of it, and it pains me to see my creations in agony. After all, they all are a part of me. But even though I'm the god of this world, I am but a mere observer. I can't do anything against her. But I can. Is that what you're trying to say? It's just that I have no one to turn to. I'm sorry for being so useless. Leave it to me. What should I do? Oh, that's easy. All you need is to sabotage her story. Listen, the reason why Charlotte Wilshire acts like this is because she constantly feels paranoid of her audience. She despises interactive storytelling and doesn't want the puppeteer to play. That's why your target should be the audience and not just Wiltshire herself. After all, she's nothing but a mere puppet, albeit a self-aware one. Puppets, audience, just what is happening in this place? But what can I do? That's easy. You have memories of our past, don't you? I do. Then show them to our puppeteer. Were they to learn that the truth of this world was this pathetic, they'd stop supporting the story and leave on their own. And as a consequence, Charlotte Wiltshire will stop hurting others. Genius, isn't it? I can rely on you, right? Of course. Leave everything to me. I'll make everything right. After what feels like an eternity, I open my eyes again. The vivid imagery of Charles's past is still clouding my eyes. The growing nausea is becoming too overwhelming to bear. Where am I? Ah, uh, this must be the White Society room. Oh, the irony. More importantly, the camera's on? You're awake, huh? Eiler. It's time for the show to start soon. And you're the star. Ah, I see. Eiler must be planning to execute me publicly in order to make an example out of me. This is her way of becoming everyone's savior. This is the end of you, Wiltshire. You won't plague this world any longer. <laughs> ha, just kidding. You must be thinking you've won, Scarlet Isler. But you're wrong. I went along with the flow because I wanted to, you know? Charles never shared these memories with me, even though I thought we were friends. But now I know what he's been hiding. You've been a great help, thank you very much. And guess what? I'm certain now that you deserve a fate worse than death. But you're the abuser here. You're childishly cruel and psychotic. It's you who should pay for your sins. I'm saving this world from you. Miss Eiler, if this place is made exclusively out of Charles Eiler's soul data, the damage I cause is limited to this mind space and consists entirely of Eiler's thoughts and experiences. I am no more than a puppet with a customizable body and soul. I was born to kill and be killed for everyone's entertainment, all for the sake of making a story. However, you... You're a monster. Nonsense. What are you saying? Nothing counts if it's fiction. Uh, we are so not having this discussion. I'm saying you should stop with the BS like saving and helping. When you were th the reason everything became like this to begin with. 
Moreover, even after his death, you trampled on father's feelings and made a show out of his memories. That I cannot forgive. Later in the fact of you being his don't excuse your actions. I just I just want to make things right. You know what? I don't care. You already ruined everything. If you really want to stop me, you should have put an end to the mass production of all Charlottes in the house. But all you did was drug me, assault me, kill me, and make a laughing stock out of father. You call him worthless all the time. But you're the one who won't amount to anything. That's why I use mother's power. The ropes fall off and my wounds get healed in no time. Even if there's no free will in this world. Even if there's a parasite controlling our minds. Those things don't really matter. All I want is t to end this once and for all. That is my wish. Look at you! What the... Here's some Charlotte trivia. Each one of us has a part of Mother inside of our bodies. And guess what? Mother is the world's true god. She's the one in control of everything. She bestowed each and every Charlotte with a gift. A power that can grant a single wish. A power so spectacular that it's only fitting for a story end. And I just used it just now. This is ridiculous. But that's how it is. And now you'll get what's coming for you. Oh, oh, I know what I should do. What are you? <laughs> Oops. You failed from the very start. First rookie mistake, underestimating your enemy. You thought I was stupid, didn't you? Well, of course, you think everyone's more stupid than you. You thought a side character like you would have a chance against the protagonist? Retard. Charlotte looks at you. Oh, God. Want to hear a secret, darling puppeteer? I was aware of your presence all this time. Although, if you really loaded the game, you know that already, don't you? I wasn't really hiding it, but did you really think you could fool me? Although you're probably here just to watch, so I can't blame you. Oh, oh! I wonder if you're not actually playing the game, but watching someone stream it instead. If that's true, you're a pretty lazy person, aren't you? Don't be dissing my audience. You aren't even worthy of being called my puppeteer. It's what a person who cared about that would say. Besides, you might not be a, a Windows owner to begin with. Then it's all your all our fault. We're deeply sorry for the inconvenience. However, whether we're alone or not, I won't be the one to feed your ego. Leave that to other puppets. Speaking of puppets, won't you beg for your life? Scarlet spits on my face. Go to hell, lowly pest. Okay, then. We'll be back in a second. Da, da, da. This is the happy showtime music. Welcome to... Welcome to the execution hour. This program is supported by Wise Society. Hello, dear friends. So sorry our previous show ended on a sour note. I'll make it to you by making today's the most spectacular show ever. Meet this week's special guest, Scarlet Eiler. Oh my god. She's the reason none of you want to get up in the morning. She's the reason you don't get good marks in class, aside from the obviously faulty education system. She's the reason for everything bad that happened in our lives. Am I biased, or am I biased? Who cares? She's the ultimate scapegoat we will ever have in this place. I almost feel bad that today's show will have to end, but no time for that. In today's show, we'll make a puppet. So exciting. We will need Scarlet Eiler, a giant blender. First, we'll need to take Scarlet Eiler and put her into a blender. Now add some mint essence, a frilly Lolita dress, some spit, and push the button. And voila! Here you go! A splendid puppet! This is what happens when you become tainted with ugly colors. I sure do wonder how well this heap of meat will burn, but let's leave that for next time. We're on air! Thank you for watching. Stay white with us! Oh my god. Whew. Well then, that's done. No way, this early? I stumble and fall, unable to keep my balance. I feel sick. There's no strength in my limbs. They feel numb and foreign. Too bad. I wasted my wish on that idiot. If you're, you get your wish granted, your story will end immediately. 
Didn't I warn you? Charles would say. In the end, I couldn't stay white, huh? I hear footsteps. It's... Of course it's him. It looks like it's the end of your story, isn't it, Unit Q84? Mother network power overuse. Drug side effects. Everyone wanting you dead. All of that must have sped up the process, huh? I laughed bitterly. Sounds... Sounds borderline hysterical. Too bad your body and soul will have an expiration date. Soon to be deleted and disposed of. How was it in the commercials? A new story, a new Charlotte? In this brand new style installation, what kind of girl will she be? I'll stab you. So dangerous! Sh Charles lifts me up from the floor. His embrace is gentle, as if he's holding something fragile. Disgusting. I'll miss you, you know. Mother never sets your intelligence parameters too high most of the time. Because of that, I've spoiled you too much. You know far more than the other puppets. That's right. You never shut your mouth. Guilty as charged. I'll be with you in your last moments, Miss Protagonist. Are you afraid of death, Miss Wiltshire? No. But, you know, after you told me about the nature of the house, I couldn't stop thinking. Everything is ultimately, hopelessly meaningless. That's what I thought. Why play nice if I'm just a disposable asset? Why forge relationships with NPCs? Who? Why care? It's a matter of minutes until my self, or until my soul cube self-destructs. Everything's pointless and it's all your fault. I know. I try to come up with a witty comeback, but all that comes out is gibberish. Uh-oh. Looks like it'd be better if you didn't try to speak right now. <laughs> It'll be okay, Miss Wilshire. What in the world is he talking about? Just what's going to be okay? Feeling the last bits of strength leaving me, I lean on Charles. As much as I want to smash his head against the floor right now, having someone to lean on doesn't feel so bad. I close my eyes and try not to think of anything. Looks like it's the end of my story. Looks like it really... Looks like it is really the end of her. You! You? Shouldn't it be father? F no, it doesn't matter right now. Q84 is she. Is there... Is there nothing I can do? Oh, how cute. Tiny God's favorite doll just broke. The only pure white one became contaminated in the end. A pity, isn't it? Please. Can... Can you save her? Haha. <laughs> I'm afraid there's nothing I can do at this point. Look at her. She's decomposing. Weren't you supposed to have... Mysophobia? Although I can see how much you want to throw up right now. Make sure to take a shower after this, okay? Shut up. As for the alternatives, there's a story where Charlotte also becomes self-aware, albeit without your guidance. Coincidentally, this is the story I and the puppet here are going to experience soon. Want me to get you that puppet as a replacement? Okay, I'm gonna go stop the duck from barking and ruining this. Uh, I've let the music keep going. No, it won't be the same. Well, there's another option too. You see, the player has the save files of this puppet's soul data. So you can try loading them into a Charlotte's vessel. But it will be seen as an error by Mother Network, so I wouldn't recommend it. Unless it's a defective vessel, of course. Oh, I know. How about we use a Vincent vessel for her? Those are hopelessly suicidal anyways, so it's a win-win solution. No, she'll kill me for it. I'm pretty sure all the Charlottes are predisposed to be fascinated with him, though. She was different. She was different. Oh, was she really? Well, in any case, I'll leave you to it. I have an audience to entertain. It would be a waste if the story ended here, after all. Chapter 3 End Let's all kill Scarlet, Scarlet Eiler. Hello, Charlotte. Episode 0 End C's Observation Journal. Would you like to save your puppet's soul data? Should like to continue. I agree, it's good to take breaks. Rest well, we'll see you again soon. Alright, everybody, that is all the time I have to record for today, so this is Cheeseburger Jesus signing out, saying I will see you in the next video. I really enjoyed. <laughs> I'm really glad that that was just one story and that the story will continue with a better, hopefully, Charlotte. Anyways, bye-bye!